<laughs> that was beautiful. Come back around the corner. Oh yeah, turn around, fella. <laughs> wow, that was pretty good. That was awesome. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know if he got it really good, but I, I don't know how much y'all seen, but <laughs> he ran at it and he didn't get it, and I let it fall, and he gave a second go at it. But anyway, guys, that's the first one for today up in this cold, cold, cold marsh. It was 36 degrees this morning. Now, I let it get up. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, I probably could have kept him out. There you go. Stay out of that. And I said, well, let's just go. I want to see if I can make a video. And that's another one of them little chunky ones little chunky ones that's a oxymoron i think they call it <laughs> don't get me to act like i'm smart i don't know what that is that took him right in the top of the mouth a lot of spots hmm well 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 what can i say <clears throat> beautiful way to start out the day come on get on here i know he's a little feisty because he don't he ain't too hot <laughs> but he ain't too cold either they got to get a little colder than 36 where they get that rowdy all right stretch out here about 24 and a half oh that is just a good good guy right there yeah just a good little old fish for the box well, I wasn't sure what was going to be up here uh, this cold, and it was really colder than that. It got down to freezing a couple of days ago, and I said, well, I just want to go up and see if, they're, if they all fell out. or Some of these little ditches get a little deeper, and I think that's all they're doing right now is settle down in them deeper spots. But I seen a couple of smaller reds as I was paddling up here, but nothing real you know not a lot of them so far maybe they're piled up on all the way up in there i don't know but this is good this was fun all right we're going to move on i want to talk about this reel a little bit because i know in the last uh, video the last i, I believe it's going to be my outro i talk about how it was rough well i got it all cleaned up and she's doing better now but i do have some things i need to talk about it, it it's it got some issues i'm gonna be watching so all right guys let's go see if we can get another one <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that was beautiful just beautiful yeah i like it <laughs> oh just swimming along there so beautiful in this clear water all right let's let's go ahead and talk about this reel yeah i took it home because it was if y'all didn't watch the last video the last clip it was just i was reeling about every third turn it was it was getting a hard spot and I said well this ain't right you know I didn't notice it when I'm just hooked up to a fish but when I was just casting and reeling in and casting and reeling in just to see how she was doing it was hard there for a while well I really honestly can't tell you what exactly that could be I was thinking well something was rough on the main gear but I got thinking that would be rough on every turn because it turns one to one now the pinion would go spin several times every time your crank turns once, but uh, I think it might have been in the level line. There might have been some something rough in there, and about that's what it takes three turns for it to go from one side to the other. So I might have got some sand in it or whatever. I didn't notice it. I didn't see it, but I did find something out inside the reel that I seen that I wasn't happy about the main gear is aluminum as y'all know if y'all know about this concept a eh? and the pinion gear is kind of a brass alloy i would think well this guy ain't really hooked in good if he could get off he just jumps forward a little bit he's 
barely hung on there but um, but there was some pitting starting on that don't you go away I don't have to get in this water it's too cold to be getting wet real wet you always get some wet when you're out paddling all right let's see what you are you're another healthy healthy fat chunky one 24 inches somebody said that they were full of shrimp that that they cut into the gut i didn't even look last time i filleted them out i didn't even look what what they're eating but i did see a, a dead shrimp on the bottom in one of them cuts like that cold weather might have stunned them down to where they could scoop them up so it could be shrimp but whatever it is it's it's got some high protein there's a wake in the water that's probably a red but all right but anyway yeah there was some pitting on that main gear that i didn't like i took a stainless brush and i brushed it really good and i got it pretty smooth and this time i applied grease every little nook and cranny so there's no excuse and I had had this thing apart uh, once. Now this this is coming up on three months. I've, I've fished with it. I looked at my receipt, and I've had it out several times a week. And <clears throat> so that's you know it's been out several times, but I've cleaned it once completely in between that time. So I don't know. I'm I'm not gonna say one way or the other that you know I. I can't endorse it with it already pitting after three months and me not abusing it. It hadn't been sunk. I dropped it one time in the water and I took it and I cleaned it after that. So that shouldn't have done it. But a lot of times I'll get home, I won't spray it off or anything. And I didn't spray it off since the last time I cleaned it because I felt like what I was doing was just spraying that stuff further into the reel it might would help the level wind out but as far as stuff in the reel i felt like i was pushing that sand anything, any kind of grit from the outside in some of it inside so i didn't do it last month but anyway regardless it wasn't really that dirty it just was some electrolysis uh, dissimilar metals that's what we learn in uh, well in school you two you know aluminum and brass does not like each other for sure but uh, all right we'll see what it does long term but all right it probably doesn't doesn't bother most of you You're probably not fishing with a concept a eh? but if you've had this kind of experience let me know but uh, all right let's move right on to the next one Here we go. <laughs> There's number three. Oh, he didn't want to play right away. I couldn't. I couldn't really see good uh, what exactly was happening. And I, not that I think we always have to see everything, but it's always nice if you can see exactly. There's a. There's another big one right there. This is a deep little gut right here, and this kind of goes back into my honey hole back there. I, hadn't, I don't think we're going to mess with it. This is number three on the keepers. And I think we're just going to turn around and head on back. I, I Leave them alone up there. I, I, there's probably very little water. Oh, wow. Don't break my rod. I don't have a second one with me today. <laughs> don't break it. Look at there. I, think, I, don't, I don't know if that's one or not. But I did see there was a bunch of mullet right over there. And a big push came right through it. But I didn't want to just throw blind. I know everybody can do that. I kind of like to keep my videos mainly with sight casts because it's kind of, oh, it's fun for one. Uh, but when I get desperate, I will blind cast. I guarantee you, I'm not too proud for that. I'm letting him just pull me around because this is the way I wanted to go anyway. If I hadn't been here, this might mess up my next hookup. But he's got a there's look at there now uh, y'all probably may not can see it he's a nice red i probably should not be spooking up everything but 
uh, as y'all guys have learned about me, once I get my limit, I'm not near as concerned about it. <laughs> I love to catch fish, but then again, I also like to be able to enjoy them with my family and my friends. And so I will not turn down a good meal that we can share with each other. So I'm just looking around, see what else, what well, this guy is deciding what he wants to do. All right, <laughs> I mean so, so fat. I mean that rascal is swelled out like a toad frog, man. 25 inches, probably a little more if I could but squeeze his tail, but we're not even gonna do that. Look at that thing. You're a hog. I mean a big, beautiful hog. Well, oh wow, that is that's awesome, awesome guy. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're gonna put him in a box and I'm gonna keep y'all with me a little while longer. I'm just gonna zip right on along this calmer bank and maybe we'll get another one, maybe we won't, but I feel like this is just too short. I, uh, I hadn't been here in probably 30 minutes, so. I can see that guy in the water right there swimming like that. So maybe we'll work on him, him in a minute. All right, I'll bring y'all back in in a little while. He ran at it three times. There was three big ones there. I don't know if y'all saw them. Oh, wow. That, that's pretty awesome, guys. Just looking around at everything else. There, there's one right there. You see, yeah, oh, it can be hard to see for Hard for y'all to see. Huh, I got some sad news. But that last one jumped out of my hand. That, look at that. Look at that rascal. Well, there was three of them in a wide, but uh, don't take me up here. This is not where, this is away from home. Uh, he might be too big anyway to take, but I would put him there if he'll fit in my box. That was a problem. Them, them two are so fat, even though they're only around 25 inches, they take up my little box. I don't want to go up this way. I want to go back the other way. This one's probably not that big, e that long either, but he's, again, they just are so much, so fat. Good shape, good shape. All right. The reel is acting really good today. I mean, it's slick as glass since I cleaned it. I'm just gonna have to clean it more often. That's the only thing. You know, I spent $190. I wanna have a reel that's gonna last me for a while. And uh, I, uh, so I'll take care of it a little bit. All right. I think she'll be fine. Right. Worst comes to worst, if I can find another main gear, if this one ever gets rough on me, I could I could swap it out. But the problem is I can't find parts. They have a couple of service centers in Houston, Texas. And I think if I call them, they probably would could get me the part. But as far as just coming up with the part off their website or something like that, nope. I don't know why they give you a parts list if you can't just order parts easy. So they need to work on that if they want my endorsement because I'm the kind of guy who does his own work. I don't have people they say, oh, you can send it to that. Oh, I don't tell you guys what just happened. Oh, this is terrible. I just broke my rod. 20, 26 inch red and I was bending down on it. Oh, that's terrible. Well, I, my fault. I didn't think I had it. I didn't feel it. I thought I had slack in it. I guess I did not. Oh man. Well, that's why you have a spare rod, but I don't have. <laughs> so I guess that's the end of my fishing trip. Oh, but look at that guy. He's he's a big one. Huh, uh, uh. Just flat snapped it off, and he snapped it off four rungs down. I probably had a, a weak spot there. I probably had some scratches on it. 
Well, there ain't no fixing that rascal. That's an $80 shot. Oh, but I have caught probably a thousand redfish with it. This is my older one. I have, I bought one that's seven six. This is seven foot. Just like it. So I guess we'll be putting this reel on the my little bit longer one. And I got another rod for my backup. Oh, that's terrible. But it could be worse. It could happen on the first fish, then I wouldn't have a limit. But I'm gonna hold on to this one really tight when I get him in the box. I want him. I don't want to lose him. But yeah, that's that is that that's terrible. <laughs> Alright guys. I just want to thank y'all anyway for coming out and be part of my grieving. Oh, I figured it would happen sooner or later, but I thought it would happen when a big old fish would run down and run under my boat, but uh, this is not good. Maybe I'll have a screenshot. Hey. <laughs> oh, well. All right, guys. Just want to say God bless, and we will see y'all next time. guys <clears throat> thought I had to catch one with my broken rod it wouldn't be right it wouldn't be right if I didn't catch at least one more fish with this guy for uh, I don't know maybe I'll start fishing with it <laughs> I could put it I could put a, um, a end eye right at that tip it'd be shorty but you know the thing about short rods is you have less leverage I mean the fish has less leverage so it's it's easier to fight a fish you don't cast very far but <laughs> the kind of fishing I do it don't really matter uh, most of the time but I would not want it to be my only rod on the boat because uh, sometimes I do like to throw far away sometimes I'm uh, I see a fish further away that I need to try to reach and not so much on this board I mean this board can go anywhere but when I was kayak fishing only don't take me all the way back that way that exactly where I came from oh guys so anyway I know I closed it out so this is bonus footage <laughs> oh my 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 here nose this thing up against the bank I don't want to go all the way over there I gotta paddle all the way back out of here then. yeah that's a nice fish another big chunky monster not super long he's probably only 24 25 again but they're so fat oh they're like two of what i've been catching every i mean all all summer they're twice as heavy twice as much meat off on them too i mean man i i filleted them last guys out and usually i put one fish per bag and i was putting one fillet per bag and that would be enough for a couple of people all right come on in guy <laughs> you are the chosen one to be uh, like i say we might we might do something with this they sell them tips you can put on these things uh, they don't cast very good though i'd cast it a few times and when you're used to the longer one i had to readjust my pitch i had to throw kind of high to get it out there which is fine once you learn what you're doing you just adjust fella you a monster you lucky you number actually number four on the big dogs today let's just see what you are because this video has got to be getting a little long all right hard to get his nose down there oh he's 26 and a half a good respectable 26 and a half and almost that big around <laughs> oh got him right in the nose and he was buried in he wasn't getting all he was past the barb guys i don't know oh easy yeah he, he was he was well i guess that's not the nose it's under the nose oh man that is a monster size fish i'm going to let you go you are a beautiful 
fat rascal. Oh, you had to run your nose in the ground. Make me look bad. Don't do that. Get out of here. Oh, but I couldn't help myself. There was all fish all through this thing. They, they, I don't think they left. Even though it got down below freezing, it, uh, they just hanging out here. It's gotta get colder than that to run them out of my marsh, I guess. But that's all right. I'm loving it. But like normal, we got bad weather coming up. So that's why I caught this one day in between. I thought we'd try to take advantage of it so we can have you a video to put out. All right, again, I want to say God bless, and we will see y'all next time.